with full of geographical ideas, concepts and information is brought to you by Glima Initiative, an initiative for better education. So today we will discuss about a very popular and very common geographical fact that is the structure of atmosphere. Before going in details, let's first know what the atmosphere is. Atmosphere is nothing but an envelope of air that completely surrounds our earth. It is the presence of atmosphere with abundant supply of oxygen that makes the earth a unique planet in the whole universe. This oxygen is responsible for the origin and growth of life on earth. Atmosphere extends up to thousands of kilometers from the earth's surface. But 99% of the entire mass of atmosphere only lies within 32 km. This is due to the gravitational pull of the earth which helps the atmosphere towards it. Now we will directly move to the structures of atmosphere. Take a close look of the picture. Earth's atmosphere is made up of a series of layers with different sets of characteristics. These are troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, thermosphere and exosphere. Now coming to the lowermost layer of atmosphere that is troposphere which literally means the zone of mixing. It extends to an average height of 12 km from earth's surface. Although its altitude varies from about 9 km at the geographic poles to 17 km at the equator. In this layer, temperature decreases up to minus 45 degrees Celsius with increasing height, which is termed as normal lapse rate. Beyond this, various weather phenomena can also be found here such as cumulonimbus cloud, precipitation, lightning, thunderstorm, etc. In this layer, aviation activity also takes place including commercial jets and parachute. The troposphere is bounded by tropopause, where in most places, inversion of temperature is noticed. Now coming to the second lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere, that is stratosphere. It is above the troposphere and separated from it by tropopause. It lies roughly above 12 km up to an altitude of about 50 to 55 km and characterized by increasing temperature with height. It is due to the presence of ozone layer which filters sunlight and prevents the harmful UV rays from reaching the earth's surface. This layer is free from all weather phenomena. Therefore, it is called the layer of calm and clear air. This stratosphere is best for high-speed jet flights. The upper limit of stratosphere is stratopause. Just above this lies mesosphere, the third highest layer of the Earth's atmosphere. It extends from 50 km to 80 or 85 km above the sea level. It is the coldest place on the Earth by sudden decrease of average temperature around minus 85 degrees Celsius. In this layer, noctilus and clouds are the highest clouds in the atmosphere may be visible to the naked eye if sunlight reflects of them. The mesosphere is also the layer where most meteors burn up upon the atmosphere. This layer is mainly accessed by surrounding rockets and rocket-powered aircrafts. The upper limits of mesosphere is mesopause. Now talking about the second highest layer of Earth's atmosphere that is thermosphere. It extends from about 80 km up to an average of 500 to 1000 km. The lowest part of thermosphere from 80 to 550 km above the Earth's surface contains the ionosphere. The temperature of this layer can rise as high as 1500 degrees Celsius. This layer is completely cloudless and free of water vapor. Electrically conducting radio signals are reflected in this layer. The International Space Station orbits in this layer. The thermosphere is bounded by an upper limit called thermopause. Last but not the least, coming to the outermost layer of the Earth's atmosphere, that is exosphere. 
It extends from an altitude of about 700 km to 10,000 km. After that, it merges into the solar wind. Exosphere contains most of the satellites orbiting Earth. Another very important division of Earth's atmosphere is done on the basis of the composition of gases. These are homosphere and heterosphere. Homosphere is the layer where uniformity of gases can be seen and it extends up to 80 km. Coming to the heterosphere, in this layer, the gases are not evenly mixed and it extends from 80 km to 500 km. That's all about the structure of atmosphere. Now coming to the end, hope you all have enjoyed this video. For such detailed information, please subscribe Glimmer Initiative. And to keep notified each time, don't forget to press the bell icon just after subscription. Thank you.